Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode four for Friday, July eighteenth, two thousand fourteen. In your eyes. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by lynda.com. Learn what you want, when you want, with access to over 2,400 high-quality online courses, all for one low monthly price. To try it free for seven days, visit lynda.com slash arena. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash arena. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. Now, right off the top, I want to apologize to you. It's a brand new show and not three episodes in the feed went dark, not one, but two weeks in a row. And if you catch my other Android show, All About Android, you might have noticed me wearing an eye patch a few weeks ago, and it wasn't a bit. I came down with a serious eye infection that landed me in the most comfortable hospital bed for four days and a number of days at home recovering. Now, as a result, I was in no condition to come in and record a new episode for you, and for that, I apologize. But... As I like to try to do, I've actually picked three apps that got some serious use while I was out in this hodgepodge of apps from my medical leave. Now, when you're down for the count with no vision, well, anything on your device is difficult. And quite frankly, I straight up didn't use any technologies for days uh, as I waited for my eyes to improve, but that didn't mean I could keep myself away from it entirely. And in some cases, my smartphone was invaluable to my healing process. As was the case with my first app pick today, MediSafe. Now, I know it's not the most exciting sounding app in the world, but when you're juggling seven different pills, ointments and drops all on their own schedules and with their own food requirements, it comes in incredibly handy. Now, first, its design is super easy to understand. You just hit the plus sign at the bottom and enter in the information you have, the name, a reminder time so you don't forget, and this cool shape and color picker that actually allows you to construct a digital version of your medicine so you can recognize it by sight instead of by name, though you should probably double check the name too, just to be safe. You can add a med friend, which is a person from your contact list that can be enlisted to help you remember to take your meds if you're the forgetful type. But I just let the app do that. Now swiping from the left gives you your medicine cabinet and you can easily register your medicine taking straight from there or let the reminders do their job. When the time is right, a floating notification will appear with a loud bottle shaking sound that's nearly impossible to ignore. And from there you can tell the app that you've taken it, you're skipping it, or you'd like to be reminded in a little bit. That's the snooze option. And a nice little surprise for you Android Wear users, they included support for your wearables so those notifications appear on your wrist with all of those actions in tow there as well. Now, remembering to take your medicine has never been easier. This kept me on track, and I'm a pretty forgetful dude, so that's saying something. You can find MediSafe for free in the Play Store. During one of my many doctor's visits, I sat in the chair awaiting the arrival of the doctor with my wife at my side. And wouldn't you know it, I couldn't for the life of me get this damn song out of my head. You know it. Asia, heat of the moment. And you know how they say misery loves company, right? So I fired up play music, pulled up the track, and played it out loud for everyone in the doctor's office to hear. And wouldn't you know it, the lyrics had something about eyes in there. How fitting. That's where my next app, Music Match, came in really handy. The app magically brought the lyrics to the song front and center as the track played. No extra effort required. It appears over the top of the screen as a floating window. The lyrics sync with the song that's playing and you can determine how they show, either in full or with the current portion highlighted like on a karaoke machine. It has a music ID feature similar to Shazam that uses the microphone of your device to sample a song in your environment for identification. It links directly to Spotify for previewing, as well as to YouTube for songs that you search for through the app. 
Now I used it for its lyrical powers integrated with my Play Music All Access account, but it's also a standalone music player for locally stored content, complete with its own EQ settings to boot. You can favorite the songs you like best for quick access to those lyrics. And finally, power users can sign up for the subscription plan at $1.99 per month or $4.99 per year, and that removes ads from the experience, offers premium support, and get this, brings Chromecast capabilities to the app. But even for free, this app is a no-brainer because it really enhances the music experience on your device. Get Music Match now, and you'll never sing the words, Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza, again. Now, I did a lot of laying around as my eyes recovered, and when you lay around, you have a lot of time to think. For me, I stared at my new house and created a mental list of all the things I'd do if I had all the money in the world to spruce it up. And when your mental bank is running out of creative ideas, do what I did. Install House. That's H-O-U-Z-Z. House is a site and service based around interior and exterior design for your home. It's a place where contractors, landscape architects, and everyone in between can showcase the jobs they've done. And as such, you have access to literally hundreds of thousands of high-resolution photos of people's homes and the decorating choices that make those homes unique. You can dial your search down to a particular room or feature. I did a lot of searching for landscaping because our yard needs a lot of work. Also, fences to see what different kinds of fences could be potentially placed in our home in the backyard. Or heck, it's always fun to check out the variety of front doors that really add a lot of character to a home. The app puts you in touch with professionals, so it's a great place to do things like offer up your design challenges with a few photographs, and then you get those pros replying with their vision for your project. Who knows, you might end up hiring one of them, but even if you don't, they offer a great amount of free advice. You can create idea books, so you can save some of the design photos that you think matter most to your projects for later reference. You can share those idea books with your friends and family, and they can pitch in suggestions for you as well, linked through their account. And there's even a product marketplace for items that can help spruce up your domicile. Oh, and sometimes people will go the extra mile in their project photos. They'll actually add product tags to items in the picture, giving you a one-click way to get right to that product and buy one for yourself. Pretty neat. It's a cool way to daydream about all the things you'd do if you had a million dollars and to find out what you can do with the money you actually have. It's called House. That's with two Zs, and it's free. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by lynda.com. lynda.com helps you learn and keep up to date with your software, pick up brand new skills, or explore new hobbies with their easy to follow video tutorials. Whether you want to build your own Android app in Java, learn how to use the Android API to create engaging mobile apps, or just improve your programming language skills, lynda.com offers thousands of courses on a variety of topics, and you can learn anywhere, anytime with the lynda.com app for Android. With the lynda.com subscription, members receive unlimited access to the entire course library. lynda.com works directly with software companies to provide timely training often the same day new versions or releases hit the market, so you're always up to speed. Learn from top experts, and all of the courses are produced at the highest quality, not like the homemade videos you'll find on YouTube. Whether you have 15 minutes or 15 hours, you can learn at your own pace on your own terms. It's only $25 a month for access to the entire lynda.com course library, or for $37.50 a month, you can subscribe to the premium plan, which also includes exercise files. And you can try lynda.com right now with a free seven-day trial. Visit lynda.com slash arena to access the entire library. That's over 2,400 courses free for seven days. That's l-y-n-d-a dot com slash arena. What's hot to trot this week is a game I spotted at Google I.O. a few weeks back running on Android TV, complete with a game controller that made it so much fun to play. The game is called Leo's Fortune, and it stars a little blue furball named Leopold with an enviable mustache, if I do say so myself, and a mission to find his missing gold. It's a side-scrolling platform game, and it's pretty difficult to master, though not impossible. First, the touchscreen controls are done 
I think, right. Uh, with the left thumb moving you forward or backward with a nice readout, makes it easy to finesse your motion really hard with touchscreens normally. And the right thumb for jumping and floating upward throughout the levels. You can switch controls to virtual on-screen buttons, but I found the other method way more intuitive. Leo narrates the story as you maneuver oh, okay. through the 20 plus levels, and it really brings some added character to the game. You move Leopold throughout the levels, avoiding things like spiky gears, working with light winds that will influence his direction while jumping and floating, basically just maneuvering the tight spaces and jumping platforms to make it to the very end. Gameplay is easy enough to avoid prolonged frustration, but difficult enough to challenge you to want more. There are three stars for each level that help with replay value, things like completing it in record time or collecting every piece of gold on the level. And the graphics, as you can see, they're beautiful. And even on my big screen TV at home, you realize just how far gaming has come on Android because it looks incredibly rich and super detailed. A fantastic platformer that really excels on the touchscreen. And in my opinion, that's saying something. Leo's Fortune is $4.99 in the Play Store. All right, well, your eyes have survived another episode of Android App Arena. I love to hear from you guys, so please keep your ideas and recommendations coming. Email your picks to arena at twit.tv. There's a subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com where I post categories from time to time in the hopes that you will add your favorite apps or vote up the ones you like most. That informs me as to some of the best apps in a particular category and is super useful, so I hope that you'll do that. There's a Google Plus community. Just search for Android App Arena on Google Plus. You can download and subscribe to the show at any time at twit.tv slash arena, and new episodes will appear there every Friday evening. I promise they'll appear every Friday. That's, that's what I'm working towards anyways, uh, if my eyes cooperate. But uh, not before the live viewing party, of course, of the show earlier that day, where I'll be on set to chat with you in our chat room and talk about all the apps on tap. Uh, for that episode. If we interview a developer for the show, that'll happen live for you as well. So that's all at live.twit.tv every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. <gasps> Ooh, made it.